Welcome to the Tricolor Gauntlet. Were we clever and played Redoran? Absolutely not. We played Guild Sworn because Guild Sworn's cool, you know? I wanted to make an expertise deck and I thought now would be a decent time to try it out. Uh, I had a few decent games. Obviously, Redoran's the big cheese of this event or it's one you see quite a bit and if it gets, you know, some nice draws, it can really start to play off well. And, um... Yeah, other than that, I'll just show you how the matches go. The deck's obviously its biggest flaw is its first turn. If it does, if the get, deck goes first, doesn't have the ring, it just can't play turn one. But yeah, let's just get into the video. Oh. The war hero versus the well, me, I guess. Let's see how this goes. They should really not get me to do like arena commentary. Because uh, the commentator in Oblivion is so much better than me. He'll just be like, yeah, let's get on with it then, I suppose. Someone start throwing swings, please. I just sound like I've had enough. Oh, oh boy. And so it begins. Um, not really much we can do so far. You know, Master of... Master woman with book. Her and Fighters Guild Elite is actually feral because she becomes a 612 after one expertise. 612. Do we know how big that is? And there, there we go. Pandora Opportunist was not sure what to do there. No, no, I'm certain it is in this tone somewhere. To be fair, we might just hold off on expertise for a little bit and then um, go mad after a bit. Yeah, you get all your opportunists, mate. What else you got? Oh, wow, okay. Um, well, I guess, guess I'm going to have to give it to him. Big chonky seven four. Right, is it my go now? I take it it is. Yes, nice, awesome. Uh, here it is. Kill that. Put that over there. We just need two turns, and then she becomes feral. Especially as there's no like piercing javelins. There might be like feral the mighty or something like that. I can't really remember. Um, ooh. So, we're getting rid of Hand of Dagoth. Dagoth. Hand of Derek, how about that? We all like Derek. Uh, here it is. There we go. The hand's been removed. Nice and easily. As long as you're here, try to be oh, I know exactly who they've marked with that, and it's really annoying. Because I wanted to keep that, you know. Um, let's just assume they've marked Master of the Ink, you filly things. Uh, and we'll do this again. They, they really big brain that. Okay, fair enough. They really big brain that I'd have a second gavel in hand. I genuinely thought they were going to go with Master of the Ink, with, ink or thing and just try and, you know, go for the full board clear. Okay, I mean, it's just a different person's thinking, like... My mindset, I'd go for. Oh, okay. Let's just hope they don't have another one. There's. It's just. It's just the way it works. And they've given me. They've given me a very nice thing for. Um, what's it called? Uh, why have they done that? Oh well. Right. And the next turn. I want to get that one down as well and start really spiraling, but. Um, only so much we can do. They clearly want to get rid of this quickly, which is... No, okay. Yeah, that works too, actually, because it... Basically... Oh, okay. Um... I warned you. That... Nobody gets in my way! 
I mean, I suppose an attacking hitch doesn't seem that great. These books are worth more than your life. Don't you dare touch them. And, ooh, if we go for the Ebonfred cloak on... Oh, if we go for it on um, the Elite, can't be targeted with actions. Nobody gets in my He's way. gonna be huge. Look at that. And now we do actually have enough to win it in one, which is kind of horrid. Well, oh, I say in one, two cards. They'd, have, they'd get two runes either way, so... Yeah, but the thing is this 10, 12's not something they can just easily destroy now. Walk there for nine, Magica. Aspect of her scene, go for a big chunky guard. Big chunky guard it is. But they've left this out in the open, okay. Nobody gets in my way. Clearly confident they can kill it. Um. Hmm. Right, that could be 11... 13. Um. Hmm. I guess we go feasting hunger. And then we might as well use the Orsinium Forge, you know. Use it on this chap. Make him even bigger. Nobody gets in my way. Go on, they can have, they can have all the freaking cards in the world, mate. I mean, they've got a lot of big things to try and get rid of now, which is spooky for them. <laughs> but am I going to see some lethal in a second? Because that's what I'd assume is the way they get past this monstrosity. But then, if there's a lot of resources getting past this, they've got to watch out for this trade and then face face dead. Or even just berserker, forge one of these free powered units. Okay, yeah, that, that checks out. This guy was a bit chunky after all. Just, that's a, that's a tough name to say. And against Redoran, which means Rally Snowball Fun Time. Because there's not too much to deal with Rally Snowball Fun Time. So, not fun time for us, in other words. Yay. He is to me not wanting to play complete rally. <laughs> I'd say the word complete because we've got a law keeper in hand. And uh, yeah. Yeah, not being that kind of guy. We're keeping all these actions and items because it just means that we can um, use them with expertise later down the line. Right, yeah, that's their first. The beginning of chaos, as I like to say. It's got Rally 2 now. Yay. Um, right. It's too much hassle to let them you keep that. <sighs> Thank you. Sometimes you just gotta do something to get rid of one card. And that's obviously one of their weakest. So, God knows what's coming down the line. Well, I mean, they know, but yeah. Their deck is, what, normal size? Yeah, nothing too special. They haven't gone over for whatever reason. I mean, I don't know why you would, though, like, with Rally. See, they've, they've got enough cards where they can consistently draw what they need, so... <clears throat> it's just like, what's the point of them going over? Uh, do we really need to Crassius's favour? I feel like it's better just to save them for later down the line. He's got four rallies in hand currently on something. Which isn't fun. Three guards. One He's going for the extra face. ability there. It's actually kind of fine, to be honest. Because we can fortunately do a nice little cheese tactic. Step and 
It does mean that we now have a glass cannon in this lane. But, you know, we, you. we've managed to get around their things a few times. And you can see this person's like, okay, fair play. He knows what he's doing. But they're going to end up playing like another order day for the second. And oh my freaking granola bars. That's... That's harsh. Yeah, and then that's... That's our glass cannon gone. Right, um... Hmm... I I obviously want to get rid of this, but sadly, it's just sometimes you really don't have the best cards for it. So, um, these books are worth more than your life, don't you? Dare I mean, yes, I could stand, watch it, give it guard, but we'll give it we'll give it a second and see what they do. I mean, to be honest, they aren't taking too much there. Fortune smile upon me. Huh. Why are they getting fortune to smile upon them? Fortune shouldn't be involved in this game, you know. Oh, have they got removal? Come on, mate. Mate, buddy. This event's all about basically no removal being in the game. So a 9-9 is a complete spine breaker. Um. We have got a small little peasant army here, which is fun. Oh, I've got 10, 12. Oh, Gavel's m probably a save, to be honest. Three guards, one true faith. Yep, that's fine. Um, now, what we have to do here is stand watch. And then, I suppose. Really got to go all in on this. I warned you. I'm not. I can't be bothered to say thank you again, buddy. Like you're being very polite to me, buddy. But you know, some games you just want to. Oh, I've zoned out too much. Some games you just want to, you know, prove your point. I'm pretty sure that I didn't get a cloak, which was a shame because they've now got hush, or could have another hush. And hush is not the big fun, as the kids might say. I mean, Stand Guard was in this deck as a bit of just like a whatever extra card, but that was a clutch play there, I won't lie. Now, if we can just get rid of this Ordinator friend, uh, we do have... <laughs> we could actually... like if they, if they just played nothing else this round... Which obviously isn't going to happen. Let's let's just hope they just play some rally cards with not charge, with not that anything drain, well. uh, with no extra guards. Just, just play a few really. No, no, don't, don't. Yeah, yes, yes, that's fine. That's fine. That's less fine. Uh, uh, that is fine. Two seconds, because look, we just do this. Uh, so well played to this person. Though genuinely, they have done really well. I, I don't want any like harsh bullying against them. They've done very well, but we um, are just gonna take it there. Oh no, never mind. But yeah, no. As you can see, we had a good little play there. A few big brain moves, as the kids might say. Ginger Jew thirteen. Okay, Ginger Jew. You're running Red Run, so you know what you're doing this event. You're not one of those idiots who run something dumb like Guild Sworn. I mean, Guild Sworn's not really dumb. Expertise is a valid thing to run this event. You've got the the card back to say, yeah, that's right. I've I've shown a few a people how to play it. video games. I don't know. I can't be bothered to come up with like an intimidating intro. This this guy's probably gonna just win. Let's be I real. Life's hit me recently, and I've realised that you know <laughs> sometimes it's just better to be I the honest man. With valor. He's got a nice starting hand as well, you know. Fair God, play to him. He's he, he's obviously a very happy man. Looking at his hand, oh, going, "Hey, I know what I'm gonna do Your today." Lord. Hey, Ferb, I know what I'm going to do today. That's what's going through his mind right now. Death before dishonor. 
Oh yay! I'll clear a path. I forget that Knight of Guinness or I, I, it's not. It's clearly I not Guinness, but I say that. That just that shows I need to calm down on the alcohol, really. Um. <laughs> Right, let's do that, do this, do this, do Berserker, here. Okay, I'd, I'd say that was a decent little combo there. Hopefully it's enough to get them to respect us while they secretly buff one card in their hand. This is Kingdom Come. Should have been more worthy. You heard it here first, guys. We should have been more worthy. Um... Let's just start working on this lane because this one's a bit of a write off. That's going to give them a prop or a rune, but hopefully not a prophecy. There we go. Do your little trade, buddy. Oh, sorry, I've got some really horrid burps today. <clears throat> That's annoying, but oh well, we move. I know a shortcut. Oh. Listen, mate. I'll clear a path. You've clearly won now, buddy. Like, I'm gonna just I level hear, with you. <laughs> Look at all of this. You've got. I mean, I, I call BS that you've now run out of good cards to play. You've got more to work with I'll than I do. The war claws and the um, I hear and obey. We can and narrow it down to one, I suppose. And then we should get Lady Woman These friend down. Your life. Don't you dare touch them. Let's get this down. Oh, and then let's do this. Because now we've got the expertise triggering. We get some recruit babies, and we've got Vivek. That's nice to see. We do need to worry out or watch out for stuff like um, more assassin ladies, writs of executions. It's one less gavel to worry about, I suppose. I slay the unworthy. That's one less assassin to worry about. That's one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop saying numbers now. I'm sure you're all enjoying listening to me just say numbers. <coughs> Isn't maths fun, kids? I mean, it is, it's, it's interesting, but that's not why people come to watch this channel, I don't think. They don't come here to see me talk just about maths. Oh, soul. buddy! Buddy! Mate! How much is that? Is that 1-1? One, one? Uh, go on then, mate. Have some armour. I would rather die than see House Redolin dishonored. Uh, then die then. No one's yeah. stopping you, buddy. Um, start slapping face, and it's time for the passive aggression games of Vivek to begin. And now watch as they have a hush in hand. Nicely done. I'll do anything for Like, what's the odds that I was able to just guess that in one and have it be, like, correct? Oh, man. What a world. What a world. They're going to have an item in hand as well now so they can just get past this. Oh, no. A spy? No. I'm just an old man with a school problem. I serve the house with valor. Awaiting your command. Get these chicken McNugget loving people out of my face. Right. Um. Feel the wrath of a living god. For sake. Uh. I don't think we can win anymore. Wait. No, we can't win because I needed to. 
Oh god. That is annoying. These books are worth more than your life. Don't you dare touch them. Yep. Uh, just finishing my Stay patrol. Down. Oh well. <laughs> well done, buddy. You managed ginger jew for mate. Stop taking yes. these hushes. These hushes have made me genuinely livid. The only person who needs to hush is Ginger Jew 30. Oh, I can't even say that. It's too offensive. My last name's German for everything's not working out. Why did I even bring that up? Okay, look. 